Hello, hello, my beautiful booze. I've got a video for you guys today. Hope you guys are doing okay. I'm really excited to share this idea with you. I actually thought about this idea about two or three months ago when they started coming out with gel nails. And my idea was to create your own gel nails at home. Saves you money and it's less expensive. Now, I know some of you are thinking like why not just use dual forms and this and and you know you can just do it however you'd like to do it this is just something that if you want to create your own gel nails at with I'm sure you guys are like most of us you got some gels laying around that you don't use anymore or you've just got some on the shelf and you're thinking like what am I gonna do with that I don't use it but I thought why not take those gels and put them to use I'm going to be using this brand here and it's called Feng Shui Me. It's actually a really great brand. Um, I do use this brand. Uh, now some gels I tried didn't work, some that I did. Um, you just have to kind of test it out yourself. But what it does, it creates a platform for you that it's thin enough that you can either glue these on like a full nail or you can glue them on like with base coat like you do regular gel nails but it is less cost to you because you're literally using products that you already have or you can buy a inexpensive brand like this and create your own um, I know a lot of gel nails are really really expensive at the moment and of course you have a have to have like their systems and this and that well this way you don't have to have their system you can use whatever system that you like or what you have on hand um i do have like their base coat things for this but let's just go ahead and get into this video let me know what you guys think and your opinion um but i'm really excited to share this with you guys Okay, so I've got gloves on. Now, I have this little tool here, here, which makes it handy. This is just something that you rest your finger on. But if you don't have this right here, um, you can easily use this as well. Yeah, this little thing right here if you have one of those. Um, if not, if you don't have this, uh, it's called Tack It. You can, uh, you can probably use tape as well if you don't have this stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the inside of here just like that. Um, using a tip from, uh, this is from a cart. Now I have tried several different tips and it works as well with any tip that you have. I've actually used half tips, full tips. I've tried several different kinds and it has worked. But now like I said, gels on the other hand, some work and some don't. I don't, I guess I'm assuming maybe the consistency maybe of it could be a possible reason why but anyways you want to turn the tip upside down and you're just going to rest it on top of this tacket just like this okay once you do that you take the gel of your choice I'm going to use a gel brush that I have here this is a uh, my alpha brush you don't necessarily have to have a alpha brush you can use any brush that you have at home like I said we're trying to save money not not waste it so um I'm just going to take a small amount just like Mm, depending on how thick you want them but I'm just going to take about like this much right here and as you can see this is the kind of consistency that it's um, it's kind of on the thicker side it doesn't like it's not runny um, you can use gels like that though if you have gels that are on the more runnier side but this is more like thick so I'm just going to really just brush it on the inside and you just want to make sure that you're covering all of it. Now, if you want just clear nails, you can do just completely clear. Uh, depends upon you. You can do colored. If you don't have clear, you can do pink. You can do, I've tried all different sorts of colors. They all work. Um, if you want glitter, um, just really depends on you. But you're just going to take it and you're just going to apply it all to the inside of your nail just like this. And I'm just going to try to keep it on a thin side. 
like I said, you know, it depends on you how thick you want it because what's going to happen is if you keep it thin, um, when you go to put it on your nail, you can build on top of it. You can put whatever you want on top of it. So, but let's just go ahead and do this and I am going to show you guys, like I said, you do want to make sure that you're making sure the whole inside is covered just like that. Now, depending upon the gel that you are using, depends on how long you're going to cure it, okay? I'm going to cure mine for at least 60 seconds. So, let's go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. But, yeah, I mean, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Like I said, I was just sitting here at the house, and I thought, why why can't we just make our own? Because, you know, I know a lot of, you, a lot of guys just can't afford the price of some of the gel now. So, it's, you know... I would rather do something and share with you guys that you can afford it than rather, you know, tell you to go buy this brand whenever, you know, it's just so expensive. You know, which I love my gel nails that I do have. I just thought, you know, for those who are, um, right now is a really hard time for anybody to be spending money. So, this is an easy way for you to create your own gel nails without having to purchase from a store. Sorry if you guys hear any noise in the background. Everybody is home. We're on quarantine, so TV's going, dogs are going, all kinds of stuff is going right now. But I'm just going to go ahead and cure this. It's got just a few more minutes. Okay, guys, so I've got it cured here. I did cure it for about two minutes um, just to make sure it's completely all the way cured. I'm taking uh, alcohol, not acetone, alcohol to wipe it off because you don't want to ruin the nail tip that's underneath it. Okay, so once you do that, now guys, I want to say it's not going to come without its struggles because um, sometimes it's hard to get the gel out of the tips. Sometimes you have to pry it out a little bit. I just kind of wiggle mine a little bit, uh, not too hard, and then I just take a tool, like a little sharp tool. Um, of course, that one's got something on it. It's got glitter on it. Okay. Anyways, um, it's not always going to be perfect every time. Like I said, you know, it's sometimes it'll come out really good. Sometimes it'll, um, it won't. But once you get underneath it, it comes out like this. And there is your gel. Now, that's complete gel. It does have a little bit of bubbles in it, but I mean, this is a DIY. This is something that you're doing at home, so it's not going to be absolute perfect. But if you want to apply your own gel nails, you can do it like this. Um, but let me show you. looks pretty cool. I think it's awesome. I love it. Like I said, you know, if you want to do your own gel nails, you can. And it's not like, it's still pliable. It's not like stiff at all. So, so there is one. I'm going to do a, uh, another one for you guys. That way I can show you. You can use your, the tip multiple times. Let's see. Um... And if you don't want to do a full tip, like I said, guys, you can do a half tip. I've actually done the half tips as well, too. They will work. Um, and, and that way, in case you just want to apply it to half of your nail, you can do the same as you would a full nail. Put your base coat on and just, tie, just apply half of a tip. And if you don't want to apply these all the way up, you can still apply these on the edge of your nail just like that as well. I have done it several times, so keep that in mind, too. So I'm going to use this one here. This one is their number 12, and it's a beautiful, um, this pink. I do find that if, if you don't keep it too thin, it comes out a lot better. So, um, You just have to play around with it and with your gels and see what you can do with them. But I'm just going to apply it on the inside here.
I really do like this Feng Shui Me uh, gel though because like I said it's on the thicker side it it's a uh, the consistency is great it's not as thick as a as a poly gel but it's not like thin like a builder gel uh, you know what I'm saying but it's actually uh, really good so I did get this on AliExpress if I can find the link I will put it down below for you guys so that way you can go check these out but like I said you don't have to go buy these just to do this you can use gels you have at home and even at that you could probably do just poly gel if you want to do poly gel you just got to keep it thin we can try a poly gel one here and see if it works out just as good You do have to treat them like you do any other gel nail, though. Like you have to um, buff the inside layer so that way it'll actually adhere to your nail. You have to repeat those processes like you would if you were buying from a company. So you have to like etch the inside of the nail out. Just be super careful because they're, where they're really thin is going to be a little bit trickier. So I would use a, um, a bit like a... Um, Mm, what kind of bit is that called? Like a uh, diamond bit. I usually use a diamond bit on these because that way it doesn't uh, really do the damage to the inside of the nail. Alright, so let's take this off and see what happens. I'm going to use my alcohol once again. Wipe off the inside. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a wiggle. Now this one's a little bit stiffer than the other one I feel like. Um, it's, like I said, that's another thing that um, some gels will tend to be a lot stiffer. So you have to be a little bit more careful because they will break easier. Oh, mommy, baby. So I just got to get up underneath it. Like I said, this is the, the biggest struggle for me is getting up underneath it. But once you um, get underneath it, I'm just going to wiggle it around a little bit more because sometimes that will help it break loose. There it goes. I got it there. I felt it. Like I said, this is the hardest part right here is getting them off the tip. But like once it breaks, see? And then you just go down the middle and it comes out like this there you go and there's another gel now now it's not perfect like I said they're gonna have their flaws I mean I got a little bit thicker on the side walls but you can literally take your um, diamond mani bit and kind of edge that out a little bit more if you need to but that is another tip that you can use and if it does come outside on the side walls um, you just take a file and just kind of file that down like this. Yeah, like I said, you can just literally, you can perfect them, you know, any which way that you need to. And there is another perfect tip for you guys that you guys can see. you can do let me know what you guys think so far whether you like this idea or not or you think I'm just wasting my time <laughs> I don't know I'm just bored I'm like bored to death this quarantine stuff is about to take me out guys like literally okay so I want to try poly gel and see how well poly gel will work so I'm just gonna take a poly gel tool And I'm just going to take the smallest amount, um, about like that probably, I would think. Not too much because, like I said, you want to keep it on the thinner side, maybe a little bit more. Okay, I don't want to be too thin. And I am going to apply it right here, just like that. I'm going to wipe my brush off. 
I'll wipe my tool off my not brush. Lord, it's been a day, guys. It really has. So I'm just gonna take some alcohol and I'm gonna take a paper towel here because I need alcohol to blot off the. So, oh. So we're just going to put it down on the inside here. Like I said, there's going to be bubbles, so especially with poly gel and stuff too, so you got it. All right, so here we go. Let's try the I'm going to wipe off the inside of it again, just like this. And let's see how it worked. So I'm just going to kind of twist a little bit to see if I can get it loose. Sometimes you can feel it come loose. Like I said, some gels don't work, some poly gels may not work. It just really depends. Like I said, the hardest part is this. Getting it loose. And like I said, this poly gel may not work. I don't know. It's like I said, some some of them do and some of them don't. Just be careful when you're trying to get it loose. You know, don't don't hurt yourself. But I don't think it's going to work because we're, it's a lot stiffer. It's a stiff gel or poly gel, you know. It's just going to be a little harder to get loose. Once you get it pried loose, it'd be okay. There we go. Well, a little bit of a struggle. Did damage the nail a little bit. But it did work. I mean, it came out. Um, it's really stiff. A lot stiffer than what uh, the other gel is. Um, which, I mean, you can still use it. It is going to take a little bit of perfecting, I guess. But, um... So poly gel, I wouldn't advise poly gel. I don't think um, if, it's, if it's the only thing that you have, I mean, go for it. Try, you know, just work with it, see what you can do. You know, see if it's possible or not. Back part a little bit, even it up. But it being a harder gel like that, like you don't have any. Well, it's got a little bit of flexibility, not a lot. Um, but I mean, it's workable. You can work it if you if you want to do gel nails. You just gotta take the time and effort to do it. But now it's not like these here. It's not like these at all. Like these are really flexible. I mean, they're really really flexible. Uh, but well, not real, not so flexible that it's not gonna work. I mean, you can't like go around bending them any which way. But I mean, it's not as nowhere near as stiff as this gel is. And you can see that, you know. And then, of course, there's that one. And like I said, if you want to do half tips, you can do half tips as well. 
I have done the half tips before. They work just as well as these do. And that's pretty cool, huh? I really like that. And see, you just you just apply it to after you. Of course, like I said, you got to etch the inside of the nail. Maybe this has been better. Yeah, you etch it just like you would any other nail, and apply them however you would want to. And then you can, uh, of course, buff the top layer and then put whatever you want on them. You see, they're 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 going to be bendable. They're going to bend, so you do have to put some structure on these. You have to have structure. You can't put them without it because without it, they're just they're going to bend everywhere. So make sure you at least put some. Um, you can put acrylic on top of them. You can put gel on them. They both work out really well. So, all right, guys, that was my experiment for you guys. You know, like I said, you guys just have to try it out, see if it works. But that one was the clear gel. That one was the pink, and that was the poly gel right there. Like I said, I would think better to do the builder gels instead because they're more flexible. Um, if you want a stiffer tip, if you want one that just doesn't move, uh, definitely do uh, try your poly gel, see if that'll work for you guys. And like I said, you don't necessarily have to have the um, McCart tips. I have tried other ones that do work. Not all of them work, but you can try and see. But yeah, I mean, and that, you know, like I said, once you etch out the inside of it and things, it'll fit perfect on top of your nail, and then you can start sculpting. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below of this idea, what you think about it. Um, but yeah, I thought it turned out really cool, and like I said, that keeps you from having to spend money. You don't have to spend your own money on gels that, uh, or, you know, gel nails that... You know you can't afford because they're too expensive or to keep you from having to waste money just use the gels that you have and try it out um like sorry like i said the what the the worst problem is getting them out of the tip uh sometimes they come out really easy sometimes you might have to help help them out a little bit once you get them out though you have a perfect nail just don't forget to wipe off the inhibition layer but yeah that looks awesome don't it See, and that one's not as flexible as the other one is either. But yeah, that'll work amazing. I actually like that. So, that's so cool. I really like that. I like that color too. And like I said, you can put glitter in them. Um, the thing about maybe like this color, I don't know that you can... You might be able to penetrate through it when you go to cure it. Just, I just really, I've never tried to cure one that was that color. But if nothing else, like if you're not going to keep them on for a long period of time, you can super glue them on. So I would try that and see how that works. But yeah, turned out really good. But anyways, guys, let me know what y'all think. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Make sure to like my videos. That just helps my videos out. Helps my channel out as well. Also lets people know that you love my videos. Make two shoot. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys, so make sure to share my videos. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you are new here. Uh, let's be friends and do nail art together. Those of you who are already subscribed, I love you guys. You guys have been totally awesome. Don't forget to go check out all my codes I have in my description box for you guys, especially like Maniology and CADS and the Nail Junkie. Um, check those out, save yourself some money, and make sure to hit that bell so you get my latest uploads, guys. But I love you all. I hope you all are staying safe and staying home. Have a blessed, wonderful day. Bye!